Whales have always been a crucial food source in this harsh and isolated environment, and even today, food that's shipped into grocery stores can be wildly expensive. So the ability to hunt really matters here. That's why indigenous communities in Utqiagvik and across the Arctic fought hard for the right to keep their subsistence whale hunt when most commercial whaling was banned a few decades ago. Gordon says they use every part of the whale, and they share the food throughout the community. To be part of a crew providing this food was, and is, a major source of pride. The whale brings on a festival of its own, and everybody gets new garments and clothing, and, and sometimes people get married, and other things happen. and. It feels good because a whale means so much because there's the widows, there's the ill, there's the children, there's the ability to make food manageable for a large community. It makes me feel good that I'm doing a service for my community. The whales hunted here are mostly bowheads, which can grow up to 60 feet long and weigh 100 tons. Gordon learned how to hunt whales as a child, and he says a big part of that education involved learning about sea ice. Our camps were sometimes 15 miles out offshore. We would live offshore for up to a month trying to harvest these marine mammals. They'd bring food and shelter, but they didn't need to bring fresh water because they could get that from the ice itself. As sea ice gets older, it squeezes the salt out. So if you have ice that's five or 10 years old, you can melt it and drink it. You don't see that anymore. And now you gotta bring your own water from shore to your camp offshore because you're not seeing these glaciated type ice that develop over long periods of time that are salt free. In the 70s, you had melted your ice all the way up to maybe 1980s. and To me, that's a vivid memory because that's when I was very active as a young person. And then from the 80s to the 90s, another era of change in the ice. And then from the 90s to today, a much more accelerated pace. 